Hey everybody, today we're celebrating um, Labor Day at my house. Sean has been up since about 2 o'clock this morning. He put a brisket on the grill on the big green egg and that's dedication. This man loves to grill and I think that's evident with today's menu. Um, his sisters are going to be bringing over, uh, his sister is bringing a um, potato salad, which I dearly love her potato salad, and the other sisters bring in a dessert, so I'm responsible for a couple of sides. No big deal. What I'm making is um, some um, baked beans. Uh, we'll be doing those in just a little bit, but I'm also going to be doing some fried green tomatoes, and I decided that on the fried green tomatoes, I'm going to use, I'm going to dress it with uh, some of our homemade chow chow, but I also need a, a sauce to put on them. Uh, so I'm doing a rumelade sauce, and a rumelade sauce is the perfect addition to any fried green tomatoes or um, so many different things. You can, you can use this on so many different meats and dishes, it's just wonderful. Now, just like any other sauce, or soup or stew, it's better if you make it in advance and let it sit and kind of mesh and meld together. So that's what I'm doing. It's going to be about mm, five, six hours before we have our dinner. So I'm going to go ahead and make this sauce. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I pointed the camera down so you can actually see what I'm doing and I'll explain as I go. So we're going to start with just some good old mayonnaise and we're going to do about one and a quarter cups of mayonnaise. So that does sound like a lot of mayonnaise, but trust me, this sauce, it will last um, in the refrigerator uh, for a long time. So I think that this is, uh, well, this is going to take I can tell by looking that this is going to take uh, all that I have in my jar, so I'm just going to go ahead and go straight to the, the bowl. It's going to be perfect. It might be minus a little bit, but that's okay. That's okay. We don't need direct, I mean, um, exact, unless you're baking. That's when exact is very important. So, yeah, and I have more mayonnaise on the shelf. Of course, I am a true southerner now using my Duke's mayonnaise. So I'll get that poured in here. Get all this goodness out. Should have had me a wipe towel. <clears throat> okay. The next thing I'm going to put in is I'm going to put in a tablespoon of paprika. And paprika is going to give it that nice red pinkish uh, flavor or look that you that you see so often in, in uh, these type of sauces. There we go. That's going in. The next thing we're going to add is we're going to add in my um, parsley and I've just finally chopped up some parsley and you, it calls for about a table uh, excuse me a teaspoon I know that's more than a teaspoon but I love parsley and I think all of us do it's just so fresh I love the freshness of it okay now we're going to do horseradish I just had to go to the store and get this because we were out and that is one thing that I always check the date on is uh, sauces and things like this because you know I, I that's not my way to go out or um, as my mother would say or that's not my way to uh, I don't want to get sick nor do I want anybody else to get sick so let's give this a quick stir, since that's the first time we've used it. And we're going to do two teaspoons, whoo, two teaspoons of horseradish. And you can eat too much horseradish, so be really careful with that. 
because horseradish can it you can get horseradish poisoning so if you eat too much of it okay so we've got that in now we're going to do two teaspoons of lemon juice now if you have a, a lemon you could use a, a, a real lemon um, I keep lemon juice on hand so if I'm out of lemons there's two teaspoons and again you notice I'm putting everything kind of behind me when I'm done so that way I make sure that I put everything in okay now we're going to put in a teaspoon of Creole seasoning now as you can see there this is a Creole seasoning that my husband has made and uh, I'm not sure exactly what all was in it but I know it's good because he's used it and mixed it up for something so I'm just giving everything a give it a good shake because it's kind of settled down in there so let's get a good shake good mix he's all the time concocting all these different rubs and seasonings and things of that nature and um, but he does label them what they are so and that was one teaspoon okay we're also going to do some pickle juice now we're going to use a teaspoon of pickle juice and you know since i'm going to be putting my chow chow on there that's got more of a sweet tendency to it i'm using sweet pickle juice but you could definitely use um uh dill juice as well okay let's do two and a half tablespoons of mustard now here's the thing and this was actually a discussion my husband and I just had uh, there's not a thing it's such thing as a half tablespoon basically when you see a half tablespoon that is two teaspoons just keep that in mind okay so we got that put in there all right now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in some hot sauce now you can put in as much or as little as you like um, this recipe actually calls for a teaspoon but I know that uh, one of Sean's sisters and myself is not really big into that spiciness Sean can eat it where sweats pile it off of his head so I'm just going to add in just a few drops okay all right we've already done the paprika okay then I'm going to do um, a clove of garlic I'm saving time and I am just doing some minced garlic that I had okay so is that everything except for some black pepper and I'll put in some black pepper now if you have freshly ground that's great you can put that in right now or you can use coarse ground black pepper which is what I use and keep in my little dispenser here all the time and all we're going to do is just see mix this up and then I'm going to put this in an airtight container and set it in the fridge for the next oh five hours or so and just let all of these flavors marry together mm. that's gonna be so good y'all mm. see me but here is your sauce it's ready it's that's gonna be some good eating we're gonna put that on top of the uh, fried green tomatoes a little chow chow on top takes it over the top this is going to be a good supper y'all and i hope you enjoy it and i hope you make this and give it a try it's great on so many different meats and and uh veggies it's just really really good simple and easy and it will last in your refrigerator i mean basically as long as your mayonnaise would last everything else is just pantry shelf items it's going to last for almost ever well except for your horseradish so yeah, as long as your horseradish and mayonnaise holds out. Anyway, um, y'all give this a try. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, y'all, 
two bites. And if you're watching me on YouTube, please be sure and subscribe to my channel. There are so many different recipes on there. Invite your friends and your family to come join us as, all, as <clears throat> always. Thanks so much, y'all.